The White Sea Bass is one of the most sought-after game fish in Southern California. NBA star Brian Shaw caught this 50-pounder, and a couple of New York Yankees couldn't resist a trip to the island before a recent Angel game. But it hasn't always been this way. In fact, in the late 1880s, Dr. Charles Holder was disgusted by the mounds of rotting white sea bass along the shoreline at Catalina Island. And of course, gill nets pushed the white sea bass fishery to the brink of destruction. With that in mind, we stop by beautiful Carlsbad, California to the Hub Sea World Research Wait, Institute Do to something. take a look at their white sea bass replenishment program. It really has been a great success. A lot of organizations and fishermen and people in general have come together and really, really made a difference in the sea bass fishery. And as a result, there's more white sea bass now than we've seen in a long, long time. The Department of Fish and Game only permits 350,000 fish to be released annually. The facility could breed more than that, but the DFG permit doesn't allow for more than that to be bred out. To maintain genetic diversity, no more than 15,000 fish are pulled from each breeding. Females are broadcast breeders and do two to three egg releases per season. Males follow the females when they release their eggs and in turn release their sperm. Research has shown that the fry that come from a number of the participating males, there is no selective breeding. And you can see these great grow out pens. There's about 18 of them from San Diego to Santa Barbara. They are producing magnificent sea bass like that in the very end. There's a tag in every sea bass, and that tag is in the head. So save your heads and return them. That's what's going to keep this program going. For Patch, Phil Friedman reporting.